Hi everyone, Tani MFK here, and I'm just jumping in for a quick tutorial to show you exactly how I schedule my day. So we have been in the middle of our success schedule program, mastering our daily plans, learning time management and self-management so we can have structure, progress, success, and also enjoy our lives while we're being productive and effective. So through that, we've had a lot of questions about how specifically I do my day. So while I've been giving the specific steps and details so you can plan your own day, I'm going to go ahead and show how I I do mine. So I use both a paper planner and a digital planner. Uh, my digital planner really only covers the basics of my blocks and uh, manages my client schedules because it has reminders and all of those kind of fandangled things. Uh, my real baby is <laughs> my uh, uh, paper planner. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to switch to that right now and we're going to look at my paper planner. There is a nothing special about this planner. I don't even know the brand. It is dated, so you can see here. I have done undated before and ended up with the wrong date, so I just don't trust myself to do that. I prefer to have them dated. Um, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, much of it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I choose a layout that I kind of like. Um, sometimes I use horizontal. This particular one I found that does a vertical and I do enjoy that. So I make it work with what I want until I create my own calendar, which is in the works. Um, I basically will make any planner work for, my, for me. I have had planners in Thai. I have had planners in Russian. As long as I can tell the months and the dates, the rest don't matter. So as you can see here, I've actually rewritten the times in the slots to work for me. So again, really, this is super unsexy. Um, I, you can see here, even on this date, I don't have them in yet. I start my day at four and I go through and I actually just write over what it says there and I write in the times that it'll be for me and that goes on. Then um, the top of my planner here, I have created spaces. This space up here is what I like to call FYI and reminders. So for your information or reminders and this is where I put things like birthdays. You'll see there's birthdays. Um, this is telling me that my son is going to be his grandma's that day. Um, FYIs a lot of times are things that I have not maybe committed to. They're really just information that something may be happening. Perhaps there's a nice event going on at the square and I want to write it down. It doesn't mean I'm going to it. If I committed to something, then it would be in my actual calendar, It'd be in my space. So this I use really, like I said, for information or reminders that something's going on, anniversaries, whatnot. This top block here is where I write my to-dos of personal. This is really a catch-all where I, throughout the week, perhaps here, will think of something and go, oh yeah, I need to figure that out. I'll jot it down as a to-do and eventually it'll find its way into my, my uh, daily schedule. Same thing here, these are for my for business. So this will be uh, business to-dos that will come up. And again, I will just kind of write those down and then eventually they will find their space. It's more of a catch-all um, or even specific. Sometimes I don't write the specifics in the block. I just know it's my work block. And then I will go and look through the specifics that I've chosen. So any way that you decide to use this, um, that is how I work. Almost any planner that I have, I create this space one way or another. So on an exact day, we're gonna get real specific, show you what I do. So this is 4 a.m. And I just take a block here. This is just a simple pen, real messy writing. And I write SOD. That starts for, that stands for start of day. And this is my start of day. So this is my morning routine. I do that from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. Yes, it's crazy. Um, I love it though. And uh, whatever that is for you, it doesn't matter. I've recognized that for me, it's an hour and I know exactly what's in that. So I don't need to write it down. I have the daily habit tracker to keep track of what I'm doing um, for my goals in the morning. If you haven't downloaded that, um, we can put that in the link as well. So um, that's my start of day. Then my first work block is from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. 
and I just for my own preference make my work blocks orange so my first work block goes from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. and then my son and my husband are up at 7 and that is from 7 to 8 where we will have breakfast and get ready for the day together so breakfast right in that real nice and messy for you there is no need for cuteness i know some people make those beautiful bullet journals so bless you for doing that i love artistic things um, but it's just not going to happen with my daily schedule <laughs> so um 8 to 12 is my next work block so i set that out there again you don't have to pre outline it no that really matters but that's what i will do there and then i have lunch from 12 to 1. yes pretty boring pretty predictable and of course that absolutely can change and does change as a matter of fact um this wednesday i have something booked at 12 when i just move that lunchtime around or maybe i will fast so then i have this next section that usually goes from about 1 to 3.30. This can change a lot. For when I was doing a lot of courses, this section could was easily some of my course time. Uh, during the summer, sometimes this is personal time. This is when I'll go for a walk or read a book. This can change. To be honest, right now, we have a lot of work going on. It's the beginning of the year. There's a lot of new launches. And so this has just kind of creeped into full work mode. And that's okay. That's what it is for now until it's not. And every year I make my goals for the year, um, knowing what is important to me. And so I know what those actions are and what spaces I have for each area of my life, my relationships, friendships. So I know that this time is okay to go towards work for this uh, space of the year. Then you'll see here this blue, this is an appointment that I have, which I don't normally take on Tuesdays. Wednesdays are usually my appointment days, but I have an appearance on a show that day. And so that's from three to 3.30 and that's blocked out. After that, you'll see just like the day before, Monday here, this is my workout time, which usually goes from 3.30 to 4.30. We'll just write a nice little workout there. And I do my highlighters. <laughs> and then this is family time. So this is usually when my son and husband are back from school. And this will be family time. So I just write that family time. That sometimes can consist of different things. Maybe we'll be going for a walk. Maybe we'll be doing something. Or maybe it's we're just vegging. But the point is that is set aside. That usually includes, well, it does include dinner as well for us. And then seven o'clock is when my son goes to sleep. He's still very young, so we are fortunate that he gets to bed early. And that is when I am closing out the day. And closing out the day is where I am going through all of the items that were on my list, all of this messiness that we can see on previous days. And I go through and I highlight every single thing i have jotted down wherever it is whether i've done it or not but this is why i go through and go did i do that and if i didn't then i make a decision right in that moment and say i'm either going to do it right now and if that's unreasonable then i need to find out where else it goes where else on the calendar does it go once it finds a new home then i cross it out and i can move on to the next oh yes i did that i did that and you just keep going through until it looks like a beautiful hot mess like that, which tells me that it has been taken care of. Nothing falls through the cracks. Um, you know, it's a real nitty gritty visual process, but it works for me. It's been working for me um, since 1998 when I started doing this process. So um, that is what closing out the day is for me. And that's literally where I am doing that. I am closing out the day. I am making sure that everything is ready to go. And then I will also go into my evening routines, which is where I am getting ready for evening, getting ready to sleep, getting, you know, brushing my teeth, all that fun stuff, and just, uh, you know, finishing up to go to bed. And then I'm going to bed pretty early because as you see, I get up at four. So um, this is what I would do and pre-set up every day. Um, You'll see again, we have these kind of start of the day here. I'll have my blocks here. And what changes a little bit 
on Wednesday is that these are my client days. So I, you'll see a lot more blue kind of meeting blocks here. I don't have a lot of space for deep work, a lot of big blocks because I'm going kind of from meeting to meeting. And that is really where batching comes in. That is where I am staying in the same mindset and mind frame of speaking to people all day. Um, I actually work usually till late in the evening. And so I will have lots of blue, lots of appointments, and that's okay because Thursdays are our family days. We actually have um, a big chunk of the day, if not all of the day, that is dedicated to just being together. So I usually stay up late, which means I'll sleep in a little bit. But again, that is how my day works. That's how my weeks work. And I move the things around accordingly. So Wednesdays might be a little nuts, but I consciously choose them to be that way because I know that the next day is something very special that we've created for our family, which is being able to have a whole day dedicated to family time. So it is worth it to me to have a day that may be a lot of back to back. Now, again, this is about creating what works best for you. This is about creating what works best for your reality and how your life works. But it's a, it's also about just knowing where that time's really going and what's actually available for all the things, whatever those are. So I hope this has been helpful and answered some of those questions that you have been asked, um, been asking. So, um, that's all. Glad that you were here and make sure that you comment. If I missed something, if you still have some questions, let me know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe and follow as we continue to share new tips and things about designing your best life and your best business. And I'm Tanya MFK. Your someday starts today and I will see you next time.